Good afternoon and welcome to the Sparkassen Park in a sun-drenched Munchen Gladbach. The crowd have made their way back into the stands after this morning's excitement for the second men's fixture of the weekend. A rematch of yesterday's close fought game. The world number five takes on the world number nine in this FH men's pro league encounter as Germany plays Spain. So centre pass and we are underway here at the Sparkassen Park in München Gladbach. Germany all in white playing left to right across your screens. Well a sliding slap, lovely disguise, what a pick up that is, shot under the arm and a reaching toe. And then on the backhand gets his feet together, two chances, shot after shot, or Roos with the second. Now Grambusch flicks it off his wrists. Finds the ball out to the left-hand side, up and in, Rua tucks himself in, goes to the air, got a chance on the back, and what a chip! How's that been saved? Rua, that is genius, it is brilliant defending, but watch the execution of the little reverse chip, pick and roll, watch this replay, he literally takes everything off it, chips under the ball, and that is brilliant! Clean injection, right-hand castle. Rambush, and that's saved on the line yet again. That's a defensive touch as it was yesterday. Ignacio Rodriguez. What a save that is. Stanover gets down low, but the ball off the goalkeeper is back onto Zvika. Left hand castle, it looked tight, and then Stanover gets a big left hand that reads that all the way. The stop was right on the line clip hit to get the ball across realizing that he didn't need to put it across hard he just had to create that ongoing pressure back foot high save Helvig absolutely rattled it left hand castle long drag in what a save by the goalkeeper gets his left hand across Stadler reads it gets that big left hand red glove behind the ball So Payat on the left-hand castle, Grambush on the right-hand castle, it will be Payat in, long drag in, that's a brilliant save. Rafi, how has he got a stick down to that? Defensive teammates, then the pick and run from Velen through midfield, such pace, athleticism, real strength, lovely little ball in, what is there a finish? Oh, he's missed, that would have been absolute genius, all about Velen's run. And then the mistake, the miss hit, unfortunately, by Trompert. Hayat is on that left-hand castle. Rua is on the right-hand castle. He's shown that he can flick internationally. Out to the top, though, and it is indeed Payat. Payat all the way through. That gets a touch off Rua. That's a worked move. I think that gets a touch on the way through somewhere. Payat's been given it. But what does it touch? Nothing by the looks of it, just beats the goalkeeper straight up. It was a bizarre move that does, there we go. There was a touch on the way through off the jumping number one runner. Changes the angle. They need to tie this up and potentially take it to a shootout. Iglesias to inject, needs to be on the money. Out to the top, right-hand castle, long drag in. Stadler gets behind it. There is the rebound. Stadler saved the first. The ball dropped down to Spain. And with 52 seconds on the clock, the rebound comes in. I think in the end, it's Cunil. Pau Cunil, renowned off the top of the circle, takes it really strongly. And then the finish in the end is Bastera. Zvika, Zvika tries to play it underneath his arm. Step forward in defence, ball still in the circle, taken. Hartkopf, Hartkopf has it on the end of the stick, what a miss that is! Payat on the backhand, tries to create something at goal, deflected off the baseline. Final seconds of action down the right-hand side, picked on the slide by Hartkopf. Hartkopf gets the ball across the circle, Velen, who has been flawless, unable to get a touch. We go to a shootout, so the points are shared, one point apiece, but a bonus point on offer for winning the shootout. Stadler off his goal line, Iglesias, eyes up, facing the goalkeeper, now turns his back on him, which way is he going to dummy? Dummy one way, then the other, and on the back end, he finishes. Bellant goes up against Rafi, Rafi, a little bit of a quick shuffle step forwards. Gets his body down, really big, long, low barrier, Velen taking a long, long time, is enough of a touch for Rafi, oh, and it sneaks through the goalkeeper. 
takes on Stadler. Stadler back, arms out wide, up to the penalty spot, gets himself a little bit of height as he spared, just goes a little bit wide. Stadler down. Has he taken long enough? He hasn't. Somehow it goes underneath his feet. Two goalkeepers who've got close enough. Hartkopf. Hartkopf has turned his back. He'll go for the full spin around the feet, then goes to the backhand. Little bit of a dummy and a fake one way, then the other. 2-2. Two -two. Comes in, composed into the circle, doesn't rush himself. A little bit of extra height, save first time. Stadler knows that he's forced him wide, gets a second touch. That's going to go. Well, no, Dan Barstow immediately says that that was after the hooter. Prince, as he backed in. Oh, that's very close to a good save by Rafi. Prince just holds himself. Again, composure, Mark Rain. Doesn't back into the space, holds and fakes and then spins. Really good goalkeeping and then stick tackle on Stadler. 4-2, they score this, they win. Helvig comes in on the backhand, just tries it once, that's going to bounce away, but he hasn't done, so there's still a chance. So Germany with two chances still to win this. Here Longer in, turns his back, just rotates around. Oh, he gets an inside edge. Stadler doesn't even know where the ball is, but he's got enough of a touch for Germany to be victorious. On the reverse stick. Gets a tiny little touch, enough of a touch on that big right boot to deny Via Longer. So the final score here in München. Glad back at the end of normal time. Germany won, Spain won. The points are shared. And then at full time, Germany wins 3-2 in the shootout. They take the bonus point.